This Republican backed plan did move forward, but like so many bills that we've heard about this session, the emotional debate today really came down to protecting Iowa kids. Denying this medical care is literally life threatening. Iowa has a duty to protect its citizens, especially our children. Republicans moved their plan forward to ban Iowa kids from receiving any quote gender transition procedure. That includes puberty blockers, hormone therapies, and surgery. If a child lacks the maturity to enter into a binding contract to vote or even get a tattoo, how can they be mature enough to consent to an experimental, irreversible, life-altering procedure that could end in permanent sterilization. Democrats argue the care is medically necessary for some Iowa kids. These parents want the best for their kids. They don't want their kid to be this statistic. They don't want their kid dead. Others argue some states have already found similar bans unconstitutional. Everywhere it has been litigated, including Arkansas, Texas, Alabama, and Tennessee, courts have concluded it violates the same parental rights that several Republican lawmakers have been pretending to defend. But Republican House Speaker Pat Grassley argues parental rights don't extend to gender transition procedures. We don't see surgeries and some of these hormone therapies and puberty blockers as the same type of issue as something that would be going on in our school systems. I still want to make sure that we're erring on the side of caution, that we're protecting children um, when it comes to making these decisions.